Parkland. Mr. Speaker, I've never seen such shameful and dishonorable remarks coming from this Prime Minister. My great-grandfather flew over 30 missions over Nazi Germany. My great-great-uncle's body lies at the bottom of the English Channel. There are members of this Conservative caucus who are the descendants of victims of the Holocaust. For the Prime Minister to accuse any colleague in this House of standing with the swastika is shameful. I'm giving the Prime Minister an opportunity. I'm calling on him to unreservedly apologize for this shameful remark. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadians deserve their freedoms back. Mr. Speaker, these illegal blockades that have continued to interfere with people's livelihoods, to interfere with people's, uh, people's daily lives, uh, have... I have to interrupt the Honourable Prime Minister, so ask everyone to calm down so we can hear the answer. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the measures put forward in this uh, Emergencies Act are proportional, are responsible, and quite frankly, uh, are completely folded within the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The steps that we are taking are important and measured to restore order and freedoms to Canadians in this country. That is exactly what we are doing. Well, member for Sturgeon River, Parkland. Mr. Speaker, the lack of an apology from that Prime Minister speaks volumes. I have given this Prime Minister an opportunity to retract a shameful remark where he would accuse any honourable member of this House to stand with a swastika. As I said before, we have colleagues who are the descendants of victims of the Holocaust. I'm giving the Prime Minister one more chance. Will he apologize to all members of this House? That's the right honourable Prime Minister. the members of the Conservative Party are calling to, uh, to us to take more action over the past two weeks on this. Uh, they continued to stand with and encourage these illegal blockades. Mr. Speaker, uh, Canadians uh, are watching carefully and see exactly where the Conservative politicians who've stood with uh, those blockades uh, are standing. We will stand on the side of Canadians who deserve their lives back, who deserve their livelihoods back. Member for Sturgeon River Parkland. My apologies, Mr. Speaker. I didn't write these out. But the fact is, I don't know how any member of the government caucus can stand by this Prime Minister when he accuses honourable members of this House of standing with a swastika. I'm calling on all members of the Liberal caucus to denounce the Prime Minister. I have given him two chances to apologize. He has refused to apologize. Mr. Prime Minister, apologize. Once again, I want to remind the honourable members, I know this is getting emotional, but place your questions through the speaker, not directly to each other. The right honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. These illegal blockades have been going on in Ottawa for 20 days now. Uh, people have been, uh, uh, have been interrupted in their daily lives, have been made to feel fearful, have been made uh, to uh, miss shifts uh, at their work in, across southern Ontario. These are things that cannot be stood for, which is why we're moving forward with a responsible set of measures to allow the local police jurisdiction to do their jobs. We continue to defend freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, as long as it's peaceful and legal, Mr. Speaker.